A very good evening, Tim Zimbabwe, and welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network. And this evening, let us take a look on what is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe without fear, without favor. And uh, my name is Ronald Wekwa Makusha. This evening, let us take a look on um, Albert Masaraure, who is an ally of Job Sikala. They started working together recently when he became part of the team which was uh, organizing for the release of Job Sikala Oro, which was organizing protests on behalf of Job Sikala late last year. Albert Masaraure is being charged with a um, uh, uh, case, is charged with murder of a um, fellow colleague who was also an ATUS member. And uh, in case he was charged for obstruction of justice as well as incitement of justice. And he has been convicted for obstructing justice and uh, has been remanded in custody. So on the screen is Obete Masaraure there, leaving prison. Let us take a look onto this story. So the report says Harare, prominent uh, union leader and pro-democracy activist Obete Masaraure, has been convicted for posting a message on his ex handle demanding the release of a trade union colleague. This is a matter which emanated from um, Obet Masaraure posting demanding the release of Chere, who is a, a colleague in their jointly charged on another case of murder. The amalgamated rural teachers union at president was on Wednesday found guilty of defeating or obstructing the course of justice or alternatively inciting public violence in offense extracted from section 1841c of the criminal code. He was arrested for the offense on July 8, 2022 and has been in and out of court during trial. The charges stemmed from a message Masarawa posted on his social media platform demanding the release of fellow activist Robson Cherry. Cherry had been arrested in connection with the mysterious death um, in uh, death of Atu's member Roy Issa. And uh, Issa died after falling from the seventh floor of a Harare hotel and an inquest then ruled out there was no foul play. The police reopened the case recently and um, they have filed charge, uh, charge made, uh, made the charges on Masaraure and Cherry. And uh, the prosecutors then proved that Masaraure authored a statement published on X and the Atos website aimed at prejudicing his and Cherry's pending trial while inciting teachers' union members and the public to commit violence. This is the case they are actually uh, facing at this point in time. So um, following trial, he was uh, actually convicted by Harare Magistrate Ferris Chakanyuka. Ferris Chakanyuka is always at the center of controversy. He's always at the center of denying other bail, of jailing others. And, um, you know, it is what it is, you know, Zimbabwe. And uh, the verdict is seen by many as troubling case and travesty of justice as Masaraure is a vibrant trade union leader who has advocated for the rights and welfare of rural teachers in Zimbabwe. A lot of people believe that this government is the old bench to make sure that they stop Obed Masaraure, uh, particularly for the job which he is doing, to make sure that uh, the people of Zimbabwe, particularly the teachers, are free and they earn uh, better wages, not slave wages. So Atus said that uh, they remain unshaken and they will continue to fight against all injustices and criminalization of labor acts. And this is what they say in a statement. And uh, Masaraure, he has been remanded in custody and is scheduled for sentencing on Thursday. So that, that is today. So I haven't seen a report about his sentencing. I'm trying to find um, the, that report of the, 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 the sentencing. But at this moment in time, I can't find it. So I will keep on searching. I will keep on looking for it so that we, we get an update about it. Then once we get an update about it, we will know um what to actually uh, um uh, do who we'll come and actually give you the, the 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 details of this matter so it said team zimbabwe that um we are in trouble it said that this is what is happening in the nation of zimbabwe and uh, it seems as if people do not care and uh indeed they do not care so we we'll continue to watch and see we we'll continue to speak out and we we'll continue to fight injustice till we meet again in other episodes